good afternoon guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. It's actually 12 17 right now guys so technically it is Sunday morning. So happy Easter to all of you guys. Um, anyways though guys today I have had a crazy busy day. I did film at the volleyball tournament this morning. Well first off we ended up going to the grocery stores. We went to Valley Produce, Caputo's and Aldi this morning because uh, we had to get eggs so that we can color them. We're actually going to do that tomorrow. My dad ended up boiling them but we didn't get a chance to decorate them or you know dye them. So we're going to probably do that tomorrow on Easter because we're going to Easter party a little bit earlier in the uh, morning-ish. And then for um, we also need to get some of the stuff I needed to finish up the cake and to make the fruit platters for tomorrow as well. So we went to those three grocery stores and then we ended up going to Matthew's Volleyball Tournament. But we actually only made it to the last volleyball game of the tournament. They ended up playing four in total. They lost the first three and then once we got there they won the last one. Which is actually, um, they ended up time for last place they did not do well at all at the tournament i think they were just tired you know it's holiday weekend like it's a really weird time to have a tournament too and stuff like that and so i just think that it was really bad timing also but long story short they ended up tying for last place and so they played the seven eight spot um or i think it, that's how it went um you know to see who would win out of the last two and they ended up winning so they didn't get last place um but you know the coach was just saying like they just looked really off today and like we even noticed that too because the first game of the last game the one we actually saw they were like really really cutting it close like on a lot of stuff i was like geez they just don't look like they're themselves they're not spiking or anything but um the film that i did get matthew actually won the last points to win them the game and the thing was was that when we uh started they started the first game they were on that side of the um the closer side to us of the the volleyball you know court then when they switched sides they were on the other side which was the one matthew was in so that's why the film is kind of hard to see because matthew is on the other side from us but he's the one in all white so um or not all white but he has the white shirt on uh, the blue shirted people on the other team but they were both blue the teams that they played but the other ones i don't think had a white libero but anyways yeah matthew was the one on the farther side from us so i'll include that footage for you guys <laughs>
like I said, not they didn't end up doing the best of the tournament. But anyways, um, after that we got home and I ended up making the fruit platter that we're bringing for Easter tomorrow. It has got, the thing was is that the pineapples aren't ripe enough to really cut up. So I'm not bringing pineapples, but I did watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew melon, strawberries, and grapes. And I did like two little platter kind of things. And then um, after that, then we ended up going to church. So we're not going to church on Sunday because our church has Saturday services at night. And on the holidays too, they normally have like two Saturday services. So they have one at six and four or four and six. We ended up going to the six o'clock one. So then once well, we got back from that, the Hawks game had started. We turned that on. They ended up losing guys. I honestly don't know if they're going to compete for a Stanley Cup this year because I mean, they made it to the playoffs, but they haven't been able to score. They pretty much just tanked this game. It was, I think final score was five to zero. And yesterday's, or two nights ago was one to zero, which isn't like that bad. It was a close game. This one was like, oh my gosh, it was just really not good. So while we were watching that was when my dad actually boiled the eggs, cause then we finally had them and had downtime enough to do that. And then I ended up making or finishing making the cake. I mean, the homemade buttercream frosting. And guys, it tastes like bakery style, like legit <laughs> buttercream frosting. Um, I did it with like Crisco or with the vegetable shortening. Oh my goodness, guys, it is so insanely perfect. The only thing is, is that there's no room in the fridge. I don't want to put them in the freezer because I don't want them to be frozen for when I bring them to the party tomorrow. But it is kind of warm out. It actually was like 80 degrees today. And um, the thing that's nice though is, guys, my bedroom is in like the spring and fall and stuff like that when we don't have like AC or heat on. My room is either the coldest room in the house in like in the fall or you know when it's like still warm out or spring I guess when it's warm out it's the coldest room when it's hot out it's or when it's hot out it's the coldest room and when it's warm out it's the warm or cold out it's the warmest room in the house um so you know like those days when it starts to get like cooler um it's actually really warm in my room and then the days when it's really warm like today it's really cool in my room which I actually really love and it's my room is the only room in the house that's really like that my parents room I went in there and their room is hot in there mine is nice and cool compared to theirs but I leave the door well they leave the door closed too I honestly don't know why anyways though guys I will show you the cake and show you guys my accomplishment I've never taken a cake decorating class ever before but um I went on a total tangent earlier guys anyway so guys where I was going with the whole it's really warm out thing is that um I don't I hope that the buttercream frosting sets and it doesn't like melt off um but it's supposed to get a little bit cooler because it is supposed to thunderstorm which is why I need to hurry up and actually take a shower because I need to take one before I go to bed tonight but um I'll show you guys the I did cupcakes and a cake and um, I did seven cupcakes are going to be for tomorrow five are going to be for us um, I was going to hopefully make them finish them for today but I'm going to have one right now just to test to make sure that the um, cupcake is tastes fine like because I've never made this recipe before um, the buttercream frosting I obviously tested several times because it is very messy and I got it all over my hands <laughs> so um, that's fine but this is it guys these are just I just real quick threw these on um, with just regular like white frosting. These ones are the actual cupcakes though. I did like a seafoam greeny color, a pink, and then a yellow, which I thought are perfect like pastel colors for, um, what's it called, for like spring. And then I did a white regular one. And then I'm going to put this on here um, when we go to serve them. And like I said, those are, I'm going to have one right now and leave those for the rest of my family. And here is the cake, guys. We also got this cute little carrying case thingy at Aldi as well um, for Easter. Um, well, specifically, I got it for Easter, but we can use it for anything really. But I threw the uh, cake inside of this little like pan. It's honestly just like a regular pan, but I thought it would work well And then that's it. Honestly guys I thought I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with the eyes or the face really So I was like I'll just put a nose on there and kind of do some little eyes, but I thought overall it turned out decently well um there's a couple things, I mean, I kind of would have changed a little bit on there, but I didn't fill in the sides, if you guys can tell, only because I couldn't do it in this pan. It was way too difficult. Um, I kind of tried to do it on, like, the egg part, but um, it was too hard to do that. And then, like, the green part there, I feel like it's a little big. It makes the egg look, like, elongated. <laughs> but overall, I thought it was, like 
pretty well. Um, I did a decent job, I think. Like I said, I feel like I'm trying to like live up to my aunt who is the baker in the family who isn't going to be there anyway. I think I told you guys that before. Um, but yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm terrified because, you know, I have like a lot to, I guess, not, not live up to, but you know, like my cake is going to mean, not mean a lot, but <laughs> it's just going to be like a very, um, like, you know, I have a lot, I have big boots to fill, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, she is like professional and baker and stuff like that. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this year. But um, I think, like I said, I've never taken a professional cake decorating class. I've never even taken a foods class in high school. I only took one in middle school and that's because I made you. Um, which was just like a regular like home ec class half the semester or no. I don't even remember. We took... It was cooking and it was sewing for like a half of the class year, um, which wasn't even a full year because you took three different, like it was a trimester. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to real quick try and take a shower and head to bed. Uh, tomorrow's vlog might be a little bit shorter only because we're going to be out and, um, you know, things like that. But one other thing too that I did get at Aldi, I got a basket. They had a basket of um, cupcakes at, or cupcakes, <laughs> cookie cutters. They're all like little spring ones and stuff like that at Aldi. I think for like two or three dollars. And as me and my mom were going through them, the cookie cutters yesterday, we realized my mom does not have any like Easter or like spring cookie cutters at all. She has like them for every other season, honestly. Um, she bought this like big like 200 count thing and just have been accumulating them over the years. But she has no, with the exception of a cross and like we, she had one flower. <laughs> and that was it. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I was like, okay. So what I actually ended up doing with the fruit platter, and I'll probably show it to you guys tomorrow, or possibly if I take a picture, I'll insert it for you guys now. But um, I ended up cutting the fruit into like little cookie cutter shapes so um, that they're kind of like springy too because I thought it's cuter than just doing like a plain old fruit platter. Um, you know, so with the watermelon, the cantaloupe, and the... Um, honeydew melon which were honeydew and the cantaloupe were hard because there's a big hole in the middle where all the seeds are so um, I had to try and like do like smaller little half thingies or whatnot but yeah it's getting a little chillier honestly guys I think it is possibly raining but the wind keeps blowing or it's supposed to really soon so that's why I need to get in the shower real quick um, I'm going to test out my cupcake and let you guys know um, what I think first and then I'm going to take a shower and head to bed oh my goodness guys they tasted amazing the chocolate was like honestly too I don't think I've ever made a homemade cake mix or like cupcakes I've never made them completely from scratch. I've always used like a box cake mix or something like that. I've made homemade frosting. I've made, I don't think I've made homemade brownies either. Like anything that is really easily accessible at the grocery store, I don't buy. <laughs> if it's like something that we probably have like 20 boxes of in the pantry. Um, but I was determined to make all the cake from scratch. It is super light and like fluffy, but it's really rich and like dark chocolate almost kind of but not dark chocolate. And to the recipe that I used called for cream cheese frosting, which I think would have tasted better, but because I was decorating it and my mom suggested to use buttercream frosting, which the buttercream frosting is really, really sweet. Like I just had one cupcake and I was like, I downed like almost a full um, water bottle <laughs> because after I have something really sweet, I don't know about you guys, but I need like a full on bottle of water <laughs> so it was really sweet but I'm just didn't tell everybody like one cupcake or a small slice of cake will be more than enough to satisfy your sweet tooth which is actually why I'm a little happy that um I didn't fill in the whole sides of the bunny <laughs> because if not that probably would have been way too much um honestly if I make it in the future when I had Matthew test some of the buttercream frosting I noticed too it was really sweet I might just like skim down a little bit but overall I think it tasted really good it tastes like like um what's it called um like del date or deli <laughs> bakery quality like um buttercream frosting like this stuff like we'll a lot of times we get like uh cakes sometimes for birthdays like from jewel or stuff like that and it tastes like that kind of quality because of the you know crisco and the soft sweet softener whatever it's called i think there's lightning guys i'm gonna try and get in the shower really quickly um but yeah anyways 
cupcakes were delicious buttercream frosting very sweet but very good and i think the bunny overall turned out pretty well so yeah guys that's thunder i'm gonna get in the shower before it gets really bad but i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe i'll see you guys all tomorrow so bye guys